Good afternoon, this is North Camp Prepper. Um, <clears throat> as most of you know, I'm building a Raspberry Pi Echolink slash repeater controller. Um, part of the project, and I said I'd document things as I went along that's necessary. So, in this case, we're going to wire up an audio cable to the Boping uh, V5, whatever. I'll link, I'll link the radio at the bottom, I forget, what, I forget the number. Um, <clears throat> the problem is, the way the both thing is writ written up, or made up, I mean, is when the push-to-talk is activated, it's caused by closing a ground loop circuit between the mic and the speaker. Well, if you just wire it straight across and plug it in your radio, this USB card that I'm going to use will key up the radio and keep it keyed up, because it's got a common ground in there. So, <clears throat> I went through my junk drawer... I don't know what I bought this for, but I'll put that in the links too. And all this, all the parts you need, so you can just go down and click it. But um, so we can buy them. Um, we're gonna replace these wires here, uh, the uh, plugs, and we're gonna put in the standard uh, stereo mic plugs or stereo plugs for the radio out, and then I'll be able to plug it into the USB card or the yeah USB sound card. So that way it won't key up the radio. So I'll put a link to everything you need to buy this from Amazon, of course. I'm going to go ahead and just open this up and go ahead and do the surgery on it. And then we can just put it back together. But I will show you afterwards a picture of what I've done. So you can just copy like solder here to here, here to here, here. A couple solder points. I'll put in a uh, 25 microfarad uh, capacitor or 25 volt uh, 10 microfarad capacitor across the leads. Uh, isolation capacitor. Um to break the ground loops and um, all of that so you can just copy the picture after we're done instead of me trying to explain everything because a lot of people aren't technical although you should have your tech license to be able to do this or to be able to transmit but I'm not getting into that now but let me go ahead and open this up and I'll show you what I'm gonna do I'll be back okay here it is after we went ahead and cleaned out all the hot glue which Anything made in a foreign country uh, has to have hot glue in it. It's like a magical component. All right, and here's a better view of that. I uh, went ahead and removed the left side cable, the input side, and cleaned up the soldering pads a little bit. This is just a downward look at it before I begin soldering. And then I went ahead <coughs> and I wanted to keep the old strain relief uh, because it fit nicely in the case. I didn't want holes. Even though this will all be in a box, I didn't want it to look real bad, so I went ahead and used the needle probe to uh, keep it straight, and then I drilled it out by hand to widen that up so I could actually slide the Bofang cable back through here and then secure it with hot glue. Here's a picture of the cable being slid back through. As you can see, it was about twice the size of the original cable, even though everything inside there was like the size of a hair. So it's very difficult to solder, but uh, we got it through there, and we push it back through. And now we can use the original string relief and put it back in the case and use it like a piece of a puzzle. <clears throat> Here is a diagram of where the wires come from when they connect to the cable that you need. You have your red, your copper, your green, your blue, your mic positive, mic negative. All that stuff is explained on the diagram letting it to come up, but. Uh, this is where the colors are and what they have to correspond because there'll be other cables or other colors in some cables So trace this is a voltmeter or ohm meter just to make sure you get the right cable to the right spot and the other ones are not used Okay, here it is in the board I'm beginning to solder it a little bit <clears throat> And I'm holding the capacitor up to show orientation if you guys don't know about anodes and cathodes uh, The short lead goes to the top or I'll go to the last slot, or last solder tab, I guess. Okay, and here is a a, a zoom a, a thing of the. Uh... Okay, here is a list of the soldering points. Uh, you got your copper, which is the mic negative. Your blue, which is your speaker positive. Your red will go up to the capacitor and go to the last tab, and that's your um, your mic positive. And your green will go to the second tab down from the top, which will be your speaker positive. And here I kind of labeled it, but it didn't really come out as well as I wanted to see where they are and where to put the resistor and those as well. But these are what they are, where they go. 
but it looks kind of odd being off the side like that. And then here I went ahead and put the other side in. I uh, <clears throat> went ahead and heat shrink the mic positive or the microphone and the uh, the headphone outputs, which is going to plug into the USB sound card up on top. And this is all going to go in the Raspberry Pi. But it's now audio isolated and the cable is uh, shielded there so they won't bind. Or, can, or short out, I mean. And here's the finished cable. I slid another piece of heat shrink tubing over it just to finish everything up, make it tidy, and also give strength to the connections. Like I said, we're dealing with very, very thin and very weak wires, and we removed a lot of the fiberglass uh, strength that's the uh, little little filaments inside the cable. So I replaced the strength with the heat shrink tube, or two of them actually, internal and out external. Okay, so here it is completed. This is the Bofing uh, interface wired into the module here and we've got the output here for speaker that'll focus oh, whatever well trust me there's an S on there speaker and microphone and when you set the radio to Vox it will key up now and we're ground isolated <coughs> <coughs> so it won't just uh, continuously key the radio when the uh, the grounds here short so we're electronically isolated, so there you go. That's a both thing interface and how to make it. May work for other radios. I don't know. I hear Kenwood and such has the same configuration, but I don't know. I've only tested this on the both thing, and I'll put all the parts list below, and we'll go through it and see how it works. All right, have a great day, everybody. Let's go pepper out things.